your Pegasi Infernus is the topic of this video. And this vehicle is one of my favorite vehicles in the entire GTA series because this car appeared in multiple GTA, GTA games in multiple different forms. Now, at one point, this vehicle looks similar to an NSX, where in GTA 4, it actually took on this form and then it got implemented into GTA 5. So we never saw a change to the Infernus exterior-wise for quite a long time now. The only mods that we do have is the exhaust, the spoiler, and maybe the roof scoop. I'm not quite sure, but look at the interior models. Rockstar did not really do that much to this vehicle when it brought, was brought over. So this was in the game from day one. You could steal this off the street, but you can't put it in your garage. So I do recommend purchasing it. So as you can see, interior model is nothing special. It's really pieced together from other cars. Maybe it's just a direct drop in from another car, who knows? But it is what it is. I would say I would need one more, a new one of these. I would love to see the Infernus take on a new form for GTA 6. But unfortunately, we don't. We may, we may not know how that may play out. So let's look at this one that we have now. And I must say, it's one of my favorite vehicles other than the Comet. So the first generation Comet which is like the generic one that you always see in the street. That's first, and then the Infernus is second. So this is very high up there for me in terms of regular exotics. And the sound that this thing makes is pretty good. Um, you could definitely tell it's a Pegasi, how it sounds, how it behaves. It's not nothing abnormal to the brand. The only thing, as I did say, you really have to put on a nice color and a nice set of wheels to make this thing stand out. I don't really like the spoiler on the back, but you do know that the spoiler gives the vehicle more traction. And in this game, that's something you can't have too much of. So definitely, that's my editor for me. Now, I do want to say this. This vehicle is definitely not for racing purposes. Please don't expect to see this thing in the top 10 of any race even some, there's some stock vehicles that could blow the doors off this thing maxed out it's just so old and that's one thing about the infernus it's going fast when it's not next to anything newer you're like whoa i'm flying right now but you're not next to anything you're not competing against anything that's more recent so you're definitely going to have the sense of speed that's not false, but it's just not the best. So pretty much it. I do recommend a Infernus for your garage, your collection. Should it be your only vehicle? No, but it should be one of your vehicles, one of your choices to, to choose from. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the Infernus down below. Thank you guys so much.